Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Hanson Never Done Farms on this very chilly Thursday morning. The sun is coming up. It is about 7.30 and it's time to feed the girls. <clears throat> Guys, it is cold. Cold, cold. Not as cold as yesterday. We, uh, we got down to about 26 night before last. These girls are fluffy, fluffy. Winter coats are in. Hi, Miss Ellie. Hi, my love. You guys know this is Aspen's dough from 2020. Maggie is Aspen's dough from this year. So to answer all your questions, yes, um, or several questions about that, um, yes, we do have Aspen lines. And Steve um, is Ellie's kid from this year. So um, we actually have a little buckling with Aspen lines. So we're good, guys. We're good. Thank you all. Thank you all once again for all your heartfelt thoughts and prayers. Um, it was a difficult few days, but we are thankful that she is no longer suffering. I actually, a few days before she passed, had told Jeff, I, I don't know how we're going to get her through the winter. Um, so, you know, um, things being what it was, I'm glad she didn't suffer longer than what she did and we go on we just go on um, we have some exciting news coming up for you guys in the next couple of days um, we got an offer we couldn't refuse so we're going to be bringing you an exciting video this weekend you guys see my sweet ride over there our neighbor moved and we uh, Put in an offer for that and for the Kubota um, RTV and she accepted it and I now have a very easy way to transport everything I need um, up and down the hills and it's going to come in handy this winter when we get snow and ice it is a four by four so oh, I'm so so it just makes me feel better I told Jeff you can go on and go to work now I'm, I'm good. I, I am not worried about that old lawnmower coming up and down the hill. But anyways, you guys, these girls are hungry. Let me get them fed. Huh, Brina? You beautiful, beautiful girl. And Kalani, you're so patient. Baby's not so patient. Miss Ellie and Bonnie, Maggie, Annie, Snow, and Bijou. Pretty sure Miss Annie is bred. If you guys remember, Case uh, broke out of the pen and it happened to be on the day that she came into heat. So no doubt that she is not bred. Um, Snow, we shall see. I did not see any breeding between her and Steve, things being what they are with my attention um, being on uh, Aspen, but I did see signs that there was something going on, so we're just waiting to see if she recycles. Kalani has not come back into heat. Ouch, Bijou and Brina have not come into heat, nor have Ellie. So I'm going to say for sure we have three, four, five bred, possibly six. And then, of course, the juniors will get bred November, December. And I think we're good, guys. I think we have things set. But our little herd is doing very, very well. And they're being very patient, aren't you, Miss Brina? Are you being patient? Huh? Do you want breakfast? 
<laughs> All right, let me get them breakfast. All righty. Everybody's bread or fed. <laughs> not bread. Not everybody yet. Everybody's fed. And I am going to head down and go feed the boys. I'll come back and fill hay bags. We'll come back and feed the chicks. Yeah, it's always come back, come back, come back. <clears throat> Sorry, Miss L. She gets pushed off the food rather quickly. And so I've taken to feeding her around the corner. And then of course, Miss Kalani saw that. But anyways, let's go down and feed the boys. All right, Miss Callie. Yes, yes. She got fed, got her puppy food. And the boys are all fed. Water's good for the day. Hi, <laughs> my sweetheart. Guys, she's really, really doing well. <clears throat> Hay is good. Let's go feed the chickens. <clears throat> All right. In with the chickens. I am getting um, between two and seven eggs a day, which is not bad. Um, once, of course, we started cooling off, it got much, much easier. Give them a little bit of corn scratch for this cold morning. Water's good. I need to give them a little bit of feed. No, cow, you can't have it. No, not this morning. You got your treat. Put a little bit back for the chicks up top. I really need, I think, whoa, had my hand over it. I think I really need one of those harnesses so I can do my chores and not have to hold a camera. I'm one-handed, so it makes it a little bit more difficult, but all right, chickens are taken care of. Let's head back up top. Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh, they're not really afraid of me anymore. They know I bring the good stuff. Doing real good. We did have one loss. Um, looks like something had tried to come through the fence right there. And so, yes, we are using it as bait. Um, we think it was a raccoon. Couldn't get through, but chicks, chickens not being the brightest, she must have gotten too close to the fence and it was able to reach through and grab her. So we did have one loss. But uh, we took care of the issue. It can't come through the hard. Um, so we don't worry about that. It couldn't dig up underneath. But it was able just to reach right through and pull at least the head out. Really gross. But everybody else is doing really good. You can really start seeing some of these roosters popping out. Lots of pullets though. I am just really, really happy. Make sure they have got plenty of feed and I can move on. Watch out girls. Watch out girls. Yes, I'm walking. This is my little girl. She is not. Oh. Not afraid. <laughs> I don't know. What should we call her? Goldie? 
Are you Goldie? Huh? I'm not a crazy chicken lady, guys. Or at least I don't think I am. <laughs> that one. These guys are just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I do think I have... They are basically Easter eggers. They're not, you know, purebred Americanas. But look, guys. I do believe there is a rooster. I think this one is a rooster. And I am okay with that. Having an Amer uh, Easter egg or rooster. As long as he's kind and not going to beat me up. I don't deal with mean roosters. Now is the time that I can see which ones are roosters and which ones are hens and or will be hens pullets. And uh, this is this is when. Hey, give me a minute. This is when I start training them to stay away from me. <clears throat> Let me roll your feed there, chickies. And we'll get them some more. Sorry, once again, guys, I am one-handed here. And as you can see, they do like to get into the feed. So, got to keep it covered. Keep a rock on it. Everybody stays out of the feed. And we're all happier for it. But yeah, doing good. Got 20. I'm suspecting I have at least 15 pullets which is perfect. I'm perfectly happy with that. I won't uh, keep all the roosters. I do believe I will keep that Buff Orpington rooster. And for sure, yes, yes Goldie, I know, I'm here, I see you. And definitely keep that Easter egg or rooster because he will give us um, colored eggs. Well, he won't, but he can sire pullets that will. So, anyways, y'all, that is that is the chicks. Moving on. Alright, guys. Isn't it awesome? I absolutely love, love, love this. It is so easy in and out starts quickly it was um, it is a 2009 but it was kept undercover it's got very low hours on it um, 233 hours um, she drove it from her back porch to this place this is where her mom was and so that was as far as it went back and forth but just uh, very very happy with it I am just super excited it it did uh, you know didn't break the bank but it most, most certainly put a dent in it but it was definitely needed and uh, I won't regret it. Jeff won't regret it. So, very happy with it. Just dawned on me I didn't show you guys Joe. And, uh, sorry, it's cold. When it's cold, I get the sniffles. I'll try not to sniffly too much. But I didn't show you guys Joe. He is growing. Jeff and I were talking about it this morning before Jeff went to work and we picked him up August 6th and he was between 8 and 12 weeks old guys <laughs> we were thinking we would be processing in January I don't know 
This old guy might be ready before then. Well, hi, Joe. How are you? Hello, you big boy. Oh, you like it right there behind your ears. Yes, you are such a good boy. Um, we can we can measure weigh him. You take a measuring tape, take the circum circumference of their middle, and then the length from the top of their head to their tail head, and you do some some math, and it's supposed to give you a guesstimate on weight. Jeff's thinking probably 175, close to 200, but he is a big boy, enjoying, <laughs> he's enjoying some butternut squash that I had bought and forgot about, and had started to go bad, so he was pretty happy. He uh, <laughs> needs to get, he's, he's, he's got a mud clog on his tail, so his tail isn't curling. You ain't getting in that, are you? You're not getting in that, are you, Joe? I honestly, they are so friendly and so talkative. He's just a big old boy. Yes, he is a big old boy. Just as friendly as can be. Get you some water, Joe. Good boy. But anyways, he's a big old boy, guys. Pretty excited. But anyways, all right, now we will go. I've got to finish up in the girls' pen and then get back up to the house. But let's walk back over there. All right, everybody's fed for the morning. I gotta fill up the hay bags. Not a big deal, but not something I can do holding a camera. Kalani, she really, when she gets her winter coat, <clears throat> that brown really comes out. Hi, my dear. But she is looking, <laughs> you're looking good, Mama. You're looking good. I have noticed she, uh, where's Banshee? Oh, there she is. Banshee's still trying to nurse, but Mama is starting to wean her, which is normal because Mama is now bred and she will start pushing her off. She actually looks a little full. So she might be starting to wean her. I have cut back on their feed. They get pellets in the morning. And then that's it. But uh, you guys, this, uh, this prairie hay. Hey, Mama. This prairie hay is sure full of a lot of things because these girls are not looking like they've missed a meal. That is full show. Hi, my sweet girls. Hi, my sweet girls. Hi, baby. How are you, my honey? Get out here where it's warm. <clears throat> Maggie has done remarkably well with losing her mama. She is starting to hang out with the yearlings, the juniors, a little bit more. She will be fine. She actually is about the same age that Aspen was when Aspen lost her dam. We lost uh, Aspen's dam when Aspen was about seven months old. Um, she succumbed to cancer. So... We've been down this road, not, uh, not a road that I enjoy going down, that's for sure. Well, hi, Miss Baby. Oh, you're going to come see me? Hello. Anyways, you guys, <clears throat> that sun has come up over the horizon. My day is slipping away from me. My morning, I need to get their hay bags filled, make sure they have fresh water, and then head back to the house. 
Anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful Thursday. Start to the weekend. Be sure and like and subscribe because we got some news coming this weekend we hope to be able to share with you. Um, anyways, you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.